Hey there, Southwest Louisiana. I'm Caleb Kopecky. And I'm Abby Bonilla. Thanks for tuning in. Coming up, we'll see what students and teachers think about uniform changes. And we'll get to know more about a science teacher here at Sulphur. And news on the boys' soccer team and how they're doing this season. But first, the community of Southwest Louisiana has been on edge waiting for the school board's ruling on uniforms. More on that now. CPSB has decided to waive uniforms for the remainder of the year. I asked teachers and students their opinions on this and if they believe this was the right choice to do. I could really not care less. I think it's better to not have a uniform maybe because honestly it's easier to get out of bed every morning and nobody really gets bullied or anything over it. I think considering the events that happened last year with the hurricanes and there still are so many kids that don't even have a roof over their heads that it's just taking something off of the parents' plate. Students and teachers alike have a positive outlook on this change, as it allows both parties to be comfortable in class. But are there actually some benefits to wearing uniforms? For a parent with younger children, it is really nice not to have to fight with a younger child. It's just they know what they have to wear. And so from that perspective, yes. Yeah, I think that um, like coming to school comfortable and I don't know, I just think that we can all express ourselves a little bit more. With it might give you like a sense of work ethic, but that's about it. Be ready for next year, teachers and students, as uniforms will most likely be returning per CPSB Superintendent Carl Brookhouse. While many students prefer wearing what they want to school, supporters of school uniforms say they help to reduce distractions and negative peer pressure. Teachers can be more interesting than you think. This month's teacher spotlight is none other than Sulphur High's very own Savannah Carter. I actually did not know that I wanted to be a teacher whenever I was in college. I was just going for biology, science, and then I was like, holy crap, this is so amazing. I love biology. I love to draw, actually, and I love painting. And if you ask any of my students, they'll probably tell you that we draw a lot in class because drawing actually enhances learning as well. Be kind. Always, always, always be kind because people will always remember you by the way that you made them feel. And I know that that's like a quote that people say, but it's so true because um, my mom always put that into my brain to always be nice to everybody, no matter what. Boys soccer has been on a roll this season. We talked with Coach Folks to see how they feel about their season so far. Challenges uh, for the season is just with everything going on. Seeing if you have a game today, tomorrow, next week, if it gets postponed, if it gets canceled. Then. We just focus on each game one at a time. Just hope to get a good result in each game. We have a very young team that are working very hard. Uh, they have a good uh, bonding of a team to understand what's going on. and they, uh, for right now, they're doing, uh, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Well, I want the fans to know that we have really good chemistry as a team. We're, we're really good at bonding, and we're all friends on and off the field. And it really does go on to the field. You can really see us, how we play and everything like that. We work hard out there. We work hard in practice. Boys soccer is now 11-2-2. Two two. Way to go, Tours. Do you find yourself cursing more than you should? If so, listen to this quick public service announcement by Vinton High's Connor Harper. Hey teens, do you think cursing is cool? Well, you're a liar because teens swear 881 more times than adults. Now, how do we fix this? Well, I'll tell you how. Here are some alternative curses to help you watch your language, such as shoot, dang, darn, put it, put it. the list goes on. So instead of saying the really bad ones and letting your younger generations hear you and making yourself look silly, try the alternatives. So get out there, champ, and use your vocabulary responsibly. Make sure to watch your mouth and be a good example for those around you. Sulphur High's TV production students have started learning how to use green screen, a special effect used in movies. Let's see what they came up with.
fun. Well, that's going to do it for today's show. Be sure to follow us at CPSB TV on these social media sites. Thanks for watching. See, See y'all next time. time.